Howdy diddly dandy there chums, as I, Captain Stephen XO, and I'm in creative mode today to go and visit a creative base by a JC Hysteria. Yeah, now I'm going to put a link to his channel up there in the top right hand corner if you want to go check out JC because he is an awesome base builder. Yeah, extraordinary guy. Right, okay, let's hit up an actual uh, portal code inside of my portiel receptacle. Right, okay, anomaly. Yeah, okay, well, I heard you the first time. The portal shimmers as it looks, as I look at it, never quite resting, long enough for my eyes to process it fully. I must focus. Activate portal. Right, well, let's try and focus and get these portal glyphs into said doohickey. Right, so we want a sunset. We want a double eagle. Fantastic. We want a dragon to fly, followed by a triforce. A gem, an eagly mum bird, and a black hole. Lovely. A reflection or ticky face, a ship or a boaty mum boat face. We want a wigwam or tipper. Done. And lastly, I think that's another ticky face or reflection. A chicka pow, chicka boom, and the code has been entered. Lovely, jubbly. Awesome. Right, okay, now I'm going to go against every single health and safety vibe in my body and I'm going to jump into this giant vortex of electricity and water. Electricity and water right. doesn't... Well, I have arrived, located. Oh, you can see there, it's... This was discovered by a joke, Cassidy. Interesting. Not come across that name before. Howdy, howdy, from Michigan Joe Frog. Well, that's, that's, that's a completely different name. And then we've got this big long freaking code. What the fudge is that all about? Okay, right, well, there's some comms balls here, which is always a good sign. It means other people have come to visit. So, can I see any base markers around? I am not seeing a base marker, which is a bit, a bit worrying. Okay, right, well, let's just check that the online services are actually online, because sometimes if they're not, that can cause a problem. Discovery server is online. There is only one freaking planet here, and it's been found by Joke Cassidy. So this is odd. I mean, I know that the base is here. Um, right, okay, well, let's, uh, let's just go into the old settings. Let's see if, uh, if I turn it on my network settings. It might help a bit. Let's see if that does anything. So I'm going to turn that on, and we're going to turn that on. I'll leave it as in fight only, and we'll see if that makes any difference whatsoever. Let's uh, take on off. Let's have a quick look around. Now it could be that the person, well, JC Hysteria might have been reworking on this base. Oh, there we go. And now another planet's appeared. Fantastic. There's JC's base right there. So maybe that was it. Maybe I just need to turn on my uh, network settings and it has popped up. Let's head on over. So even this is saying it was discovered by Joker Cassidy as well. Interesting, interesting area of space. Obviously, because there's portal interference, I can't check on the galactic map whereabouts we're sitting, or whether we're in a hub or situated somewhere. But let's head on over to JC's base. Let's give it a visit. Now, I have seen images of this base, chums, and oh boy, am I impressed. It's pretty damn freaking amazing. Now, with a lot of these larger bases, I tend to fly in a little bit slower than I normally would. Give it a bit of a chance to render. Right, okay, so there's a landing pad down on the ground, but this base is quite high up in the air. You can see it's casting quite a large shadow down below on the planet Surfias. Let's go land over here, and let's have a quick look-see on how we get up to the actual base itself. Now, there are a shed load of teleporters here, so I'd imagine it's just a case of jumping on one of them. But look at that. That is the base that we're going to go and try and have a look at. This is craziness. Let's, um, let's just hop into one of these uh, teleporter yards. Zoom! I'm in. As simple as that. Fudge, this is bright in here. Okay, well, um... Okay. There's a freaking engine underneath me, chums. Right, let's just pop into camera mode. Um, yeah, because I don't really want to fall off this dang thing. Righty-ho. Well, well, look at this. This is like the, uh, uh, like the heart of the thing, I guess. Look at all those power sorts of couplings, just sort of aiming in there. I love how he's used like teleporters sideways and then put a glitch there. And the beam of light travels through almost like the teleporter to give it some sort of energy thrust type thing. That is so cool. That's a lovely idea. Okay, right. Well, um, I think I'm going to have to jump down anyway. Let's just jump down. Let's, uh... Oh, no, I don't like the double hoppy jumpy thing. I end up being like a grasshopper or something. 
Okay, so let's just have a quick look around because I did notice he's used race initiators. Now, if I was in a multiplayer right now, while I was here, I'd be able to see the animation of it a lot better. But you see, it's sort of like pulsating towards the middle, like that. If I go out in camera mode, I don't think you're going to see it doing. The, oh, you are seeing it doing the pulsing because, yeah, I've got my multiplayer on. Look at that, chums. Isn't that spectacular? So there you go. You've even got the uh, coordinates in the bottom left hand corner there, chums. But look at that. That is so cool. I mean, yes, I want to grab like a screenshot of this, but it's not like you're going to get the animation of it inside a still screenshot for my old thumbnail. But isn't that awesome? What a beautiful structure. I mean, I can't really say that it's, it's a working fundamental base. It's not like it, it serves much purpose other than to look freaking awesome. And it does. It looks freaking great. Let's put the sun in the sky. Oh, my days. Look at that with some cloud. That looks freaking unbelievable, doesn't it? That is awesome. Well, I am sort of really breathtaken by this. This is a work of freaking art. So let's have a look in some of these little... Um, biodome type things that he's put here so let's have a quick look see inside right okay well these are all supposed to be underwater things and he's managed to get those to sit outside of water and there's usually the uh, corridors as well and I'm liking the use of the power lines as well this um, lit up blue looks fantastic really has gone to town with um, the actual aesthetics of this and the use of light and the use of animation it's just got so much movement I mean of course these parts aren't supposed to be used in this sort of way and I'm loving this still this still sort of framed trellis or whatever you want to call it it really does give it that sort of sense of um, industrial complexity like it's actually been built by some sort of scaffolding it's it's amazing and it sort of just defies gravity and floats up here but the nice thing about it is directly below it you've got this little landing pad again with these little igniters or thrusters pointing upwards it's just beautifully beautifully done beautifully placed I mean look at it against that backdrop with the planets there that is like a sci-fi book cover right there isn't it that is awesome right I'm gonna jump off I'm gonna jump off the edge what a fantastic base JC you're freaking mind-blowing. This is amazing. I wonder if I can do it, uh, an emote while I'm falling in the sky. Oh, nearly. <laughs> I wasn't quick enough, but that was pretty pretty cool. Anyway, JC, your base uh, is freaking mind-blowing. And yep, yeah, if anybody wants to come here and visit, this is in creative mode. This is in Euclid, and it's on PS4. So, yeah, you could have cross-play on, but you're going to have to join somebody on PS4 to see this. I believe, I believe that's the case. But, yep. Yeah, Awesome, awesome base, mind-blowing stuff. And yet, if you want to come and see this, uh, let me just uh, bring up the camera mode, if I can get there. There we go. And right, come on, code. There it is, down in the bottom left-hand corner. Right now, I'll try and make that a bit bigger for you guys, but you did see me key it in at the start. And I've also given JC Hysteria's channel, and you can jump over there and see his own video on this. And he makes awesome bass videos with awesome music and transitions that sort of match all the drum effects and stuff like that. If you aren't already subscribed to JC, I seriously suggest hitting that subscribe button because when he uploads a video, it's always something pretty unique and pretty fantastic. And you don't want to miss it. Anyway. You guys have been freaking ace. This was just a quick base visit. Hopefully you're going to come along and visit as well. I'm going to find somewhere to stick down a comms board to say I've visited. I'll probably put it by the portal, actually, chums. And I'll see you soon. Take care for now. Goodbye all. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. There's multiple ways to support my channel. Patreon being one. Thank you, Patreons. And I also have YouTube membership. Thank you, YouTube memberships. Yep, there's multiple tiers there for everyone. Be sure to check both out if you're thinking of supporting me that way. Hitting a like or a subscribe or leaving a comment. I love reading comments. There's another way to support the channel. Or there's merch if you want to find a dandy pair of socks or a t-shirt. Head on over to Teespring. Or just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and watch a little more. Hit join or sub. Heck yes. We'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Cheerio.